The first fire is a program to convert hypercard stacks to a number of different formats. Here you see the diversifier window. There is a select stack button to open a stack. You can also use the open menu item from the file menu. The hide diversifier button obviously hides the window. The blue link opens our website economyxtalk.com in your web browser. The main field shows some information about the stack once the stack has been opened. Use the option button on the left to choose the format to convert your stack to. The option button on the right gives you the possibility to choose a background. You need to choose the background that you want to convert. The question mark gives access to a window with more information. The little triangle shows a number of additional options. The cancel button closes the first fire and the export button starts the conversion. Let's have a look at the additional options. If we convert returns to vertical tabs, FileMaker and some other databases will use these vertical tabs to determine the start of new paragraphs in your fields. Tooltips show a brief explanation of each control in the diversifier window. If a stack is exported to a file with multiple columns and headers are to be included, you will find the names of the fields at the top of each column. A log file may be useful if the conversion doesn't work out as expected. Most of the time, you don't want to export shared text fields because these fields contain the same text on each card. Now let's convert a stack. Instead of opening a stack the hard way, we can simply drop it onto the main field. The field shows some information about the stack, such as number of cards and number of backgrounds. Choose a format. We choose the tab delimited format, which is probably the most frequently used format in database land. We choose a background and we want to create a log file. Now click on export. Save the file. And we are done.